Hello, um, my name is Isabella and um, I'm the flautist of um, Eternity Man 2.3. Um, so this is what I'll be talking about today. Um, yeah. Uh, so the first thing is my self-introduction. Um, I'm 13 years old and um, I have two cats. I like baking and reading and I started flute um, in fifth grade. So I played flute for three years and um, I really like to play it. Um, and you might be wondering why the flute? Um, it's easy to take care of. So it's easy to set up, like there are no reeds or anything. You can just put it together. It's small and it's lightweight, and there are no humidity or temperature limitations. Um, it's good for your posture, and it's good for your breathing, and um, it helps you like with finger dexterity. Um, it's also flexible. People um, mostly use it in classical music, but um, there are people who use it in jazz, folk, and world music too. So here's the history of the flute. Um, so flutes are the earliest um, known identifiable music instrument. Um, or early flutes were made of bones um, from whales and large mammals. Um, Theobald Bohem is like the, um, the person who made the flute um, and he made the modern metal flute that is used today. Um, so here's the timeline. So in um, 40,000 BC, um, ancient flutes were made of mammoth tusks, and they were um, vertically played like this. In the Renaissance era, flutes were, um, had six holes and were also, also vertically played, and they were used for entertainment. So jesters would play like the flute to the nobles and stuff. Um, in the 1700s, the Baroque flute was made of wood, it was more similar to the modern flute because it was played um, horizontally. And in the 1800s, Theobald Bohem created the metal flute, which is the modern flute. So um, now I'll be talking about how the flute works. Um, so the flute produces sound when a stream of air um, directed across a hole in the instrument creates a vibration. So the, um, the range is from C4 to D, C flat 6. So by covering each of the holes, the column of air in the tube is lengthened to produce lower sounds. Um, even though you can create notes by putting your fingers on the instrument, you can also create notes without, um, by changing the pressure. So, um, so that's um, regular A, but um, if you put, if you blow the flute with a higher pressure, you can go so the um, more pressure you give, um, the higher the sound is. Um, so here are some of the flute techniques. Um, so um, the most basic technique is tonguing. So that's kind of like um, when you're playing a keyboard and you lift your hands off of the notes. Um, so single tonguing is for beginners. It's like t t t. That's how you accentuate the notes. Double tonguing is t k t k t. So it's to create faster notes, like in a lot of um, classical pieces, um, which are like really fast notes. Um, so this is single tonguing. And then this is double tonguing. Um, and the second technique is key clicks. So um, usually people blow the flute, Technically, you can play the notes without um, blowing it. So this is the same note that I just did. So you can go. Um, it's sort of like um, when a violinist plucks their violin um, instead of using the bow. And um, finally, there's trill, which is the most like renowned flute technique. It's a rapid repetition of two notes. So. It's, uh, yeah. Um, okay, um, I'll do the demo piece. 